My name is Slater Jewel Kemker and I am a filmmaker and beekeeper and climate activist. I've been in love with movie making since I was six years old when I was given a camera by the My Hero Project and sat in the lap of Ron Kovic as he wheeled me around his apartment and showed me his artwork. Hi, my name is Slater and I'm a My Hero student reporter. I've learned a lot by taking part in the My Hero Project and I've met some amazing people along the way. Nadine from Egypt, Rashid from Sierra Leone, Tommy from Botswana, Shek from Senegal, Rowena Gerber and her solar ovens, Joanne Toffolis and the Art Miles Mural Project, teachers and students from around the world. We've danced, played music, painted peace murals, and showed people how to build web pages to share their hero stories with the world. In 2004, I got to be a My Hero Junior reporter at an environmental event in Los Angeles. What is this? MyHero.com. It's a website for kids all around the world. They write in about their heroes and oh, really? the best of humanity. Well, that's awesome. Who's my hero? St. Francis of Assisi. Why is your hero? Uh, because he understood the connection between spirituality and the environment. He understood the way that God communicates to us most forcefully through the fishes and the birds and the trees and that it's a sin to destroy those things. Who is your environmental hero? I'm going to go with Jacques Cousteau. He cared a lot about the ocean. I interviewed Jean-Michel Cousteau. Come on then, high five Slater. <laughs> And in August 2005, my friends and family and I went to Catalina Island, California to interview my hero, Jean-Michel Cousteau. We all linked to the ocean. We all connected to the ocean, our life support system. And we, we're using the ocean as a garbage can. So uh, we have a lot of work to do. Imagine we are on, on a race and this is the baton. I'm passing on the baton to you. As a 12-year-old, speaking to this literal icon of environmentalism, it was really empowering for me that someone like Jean-Michel Cousteau told me, you know, I don't talk to adults anymore. I talk to young people because their hearts are open enough and their minds are open enough to empathize. And so that was, that was a huge point for me, to be sitting with my hero, Jean-Michel Cousteau, and to be told that I was part of the team. As a 12-year-old, I started getting into making short films and having the ability to have mentors and friends within the My Hero Project that were able to not only view my work but to push me in the right direction or to think about something new that maybe I didn't know about that could hone my skills in a very particular way. Over the past 10 years I've been able to go out there and like learn how to edit, learn how to shoot a camera, learn how to direct, learn how to interview. And I think that was really started from an early age with the My Hero Project. That was something I struggled with myself when I was younger, was being taken seriously as more than just a kid with a camera. I would now like to welcome Slater Jewel Kemper, an environmentalist and documentary filmmaker. I come here today with a question. Who speaks for me? Yes. And so I took it upon myself to start making this documentary, and it's seven years later, and the film in Inconvenient Youth has been an attempt to capture a more human side of such an overwhelming issue. Over the next year, I became determined to find out what was happening in the world of climate change. I spoke at events and I talked with movers and shakers, and eventually, I was pointed in the direction of the UN Climate Change Conference that winter in Copenhagen. Copenhagen was going to be the one, the conference where the world came together to take a stand on climate change. The world came together all right. But the only stand taken was by young people. Young people hoping to make a difference. Young people locked out, rounded up, hosed down, and told in no uncertain terms, you have no voice here. So like a lot of young people, I left Copenhagen feeling bitterly depressed. And when Cancun came up a year later, I almost didn't go. But I found something I hadn't expected in Cancun. I found hope. 
It wasn't in the negotiations taking place in a five-star resort. It was in the people who had no voice in the negotiations, people who have everything to lose. It was in young people, young people who were turning to each other and realizing that we'll never be able to tackle climate change if we don't care about each other. I'm here today to say to you all, join us. Join us in battling climate change. Care about someone. Care about someone at the other end of the world that you've never met, because if you can do that, you can save the world. Shining a light on heroes around the world. Stories, art, films, music. MyHero.com